So now I understand we have a, a caller on the line. Address uh, vitamins or nutrients or nutrition in regard to the auric body or the subtle body as related to Kundalini Yoga. Sure, I will. Uh, I'll be getting into that, but basically right now, uh, when you look at, uh, first of all, the creation of the aura field, the aura field is created when the uh, nerves, uh, what are called synapses in the brain, fire off electronic impulses. And this is done by the <clears throat> secretion of hormones into the bloodstream. When these hormones arrive at the receptor site in the brain, it fires off nerve impulses. These nerve impulses are electrically conducting electricity, which is also coming from a solution, like an electrolyte, in the base of the brain. And this then goes down through the spine. And when it goes down through the spine, through 72,000 wires, it creates an electronic or a magnetic field at right angles with the different synapses and nerves going through the body. This is called the aura field. Now, these, these, the body has to uh, change its polarity. In other words, it has to synapse at a very high rate of speed in the brain. And the, the, the uh, perceptual response that humans have in their five senses is a byproduct of the synapsing speed that's capable in a human being. Some people are capable of higher speeds than others, oftentimes due to nutrition. So what happens is this creates an aura field, which then goes up and down the body, and what happens is nutrition, like vitamins, for example, and I'll get into the different ones, vitamins cause the aura field to become strong and wholesome. And if you start taking, for example, uh, aura photography of synthetic vitamins versus natural vitamins, you'll see that synthetic vitamins have no aura field. As a matter of fact, synthetic vitamins, when you put them in your body, steal the nutritional uh, values of natural vitamins that are already there. And this is one of the big things the establishment uh, wants to do, is to get synthetic market, uh, vitamins on the market, which destroys the um, body's consciousness, because there's a whole program going on worldwide to destroy consciousness, to make people blind to what really is going on. Natural vitamins, on the other hand, have a tendency to feed the aura field, to feed nutritionally through the whole system. And when this field is properly fed, the kundalini field starts to rise. Now, a lot of people don't understand what the kundalini field is. When you look at the capillary system in the body, the capillary system in the body is basically called the endocrine glands, which are seven different endocrine glands. And these endocrine glands respond by vibration, sounds, lights, colors, magnetism, the moon, stellar fields, and there was fields from the stars. They all respond by the uh, energies of these different vibratory frequencies. Around these organs, in other words, what makes them respond uh, physically <clears throat> are a series of ganglia known as the vagus nerve, or by the eastern people they call it the chakra system. And each system works in a direction of clockwise to counterclockwise. And the combination of these clockwise and counterclockwise motions creates what is known as a yin and yang field that's moved up and down the spinal cord. <clears throat> when you consciously get in touch with this field, it's called raising the kundalini. And when the kundalini raises the cerebral spinal fluid also raises going up through the spinal cord. And when it goes up through the spinal cord, it changes the resistance of the nerves to am uh, amounts of electricity coming to the brain to circulate through the body. In other words, raising the kundalini field causes the electrical circulation, not the physical like the blood, but the electrical circulation to become a lot easier for the brain. So the brain has to do less work and the body gets more response. And that's what the kundalini field is all about. We'll get more into that later on. Will you discuss later about the nutritional aspects of how to influence uh the kundalini and how to better give nutrition to the auric field, please. Oh, yeah. That's all. When we get into that, we'll be talking about the parasympathetic nervous system. Okay. Well, thank you for your expertise. I've studied this a long time, and I'm very impressed with your expertise. Well, thank you. Good day. Okay.